Today we're going to be having a look at how to build a simple circuit where we wire an LED light um, using a coin button battery and we're going to be helped today by this smiley police dude on a tricycle. Cool, so you'll find that uh, your electronics components have been separated uh, from the battery so that they don't short circuit while they're being transported. And if you open it up you'll find that you've got a piece of wire, you've got an LED and you've got a 3 volt CR2032 lithium battery. And if you take this LED and you slide it directly over the battery legs, if you put it the one way around, you'll see that nothing happens. If you turn it and you flip it over and you connect it, you can see that the LED turns on. And that's because an LED is a polarized device. So the long leg is the positive, means it's polarized means it's basically can only conduct electricity in one direction. So you can see that this battery has got a plus on this side, which means that the other side is the minus. So that's the positive and the negative. The long leg of our LED is the positive, the short leg is the negative. So that's why you can see if you connect it up like that, it turns the LED on. So I mean, this circuit could be as simple as that, but we want to be able to separate the light from the LED. So there's some things that we're gonna do with that and we'll use our wire and some other bits and pieces. So let's get stuck into looking at how that works. So let's unwrap our wire and expose the core. Because this is insulated wire, we need to remove the insulation. So as you unwrap it, you'll see that this wire is really thin. And if you're not using one of our kits, you must just try and find this as thin uh, insulated wire as you can find. And if you, so maybe go about three centimeters down um, you can even use your nails and just sort of twist it like that a couple of times and then if you pull too hard you can see that it's, I've broken some of the wire off so you just got to be really careful but really what you want to do is you want to expose that thin metal wire part on the end there you want to get this off so you can use a pair of scissors and very very gently score the plastic if you don't want to use your nails um, but really we don't want to cut through the plastic into the wire because you'll damage the wire. And you're going to pull until you get, there we go, a nice long section of shiny wire coming through. Now this is conductive, but the plastic is not. That's why we call it an insulated wire. And we're going to use the section that's got the exposed wire to wrap around the legs of our LEDs and then we can start to separate our LED from our battery and and if you're building a tower or something like that you can get the the battery at the bottom of the tower and the wires running up all the way to the top and you can have your battery at the bottom of the tower so that's the intention I'm just gonna remove some of the insulation on the other end of this wire there we've got, you can see at least two centimeters or so of the wire um, with the insulation removed. To make it easier, we're going to take the LED and we're going to separate the legs a little bit like that. You can push them back together again later. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the wire, run it along the side, and then just twist it around the one leg so that it goes all the way around. And, it, and you want a good amount of the wire, the exposed wire running along the metal there. And we can take the other end and do the same. And you just got to remember which, which is the long leg and which is the short leg so we can get the polarization right later on. But if we do that, then you see you've got your two, your two wires wrapped nicely on there. It, it's, it's not soldered on, but it's, a, it's got enough surface area to, to make good contact. Just make sure that the wires don't stick out and bridge the two. It's, that's what, that'll create what we call a short circuit. Electricity is lazy, so it wants to take the shortest, easiest path from the one side to the other. So if the copper wire over here goes across and touches that wire, it'll do, go through there rather than going through the LED. So now you can take this and you can use a piece of your curious gum. You can take a, a blob of that off. This will help to stop it from short circuiting. You can just stick it on the side near the top and let's say you wanted to connect that to the top of a nice pointy part of your tower. You can take a skewer and now you can stick your 
LED on the top like that and you've got an LED on the end of a, a long stick. Um, get the camera to focus so you can see that you can do pretty much whatever you want just experiment to see how that works but now we need to get to the other side and over here we've just got this as a loop I've done the one end and the other end so that we get to this point where I've got the middle of the wire so I'm going to cut the wire over here and now I've got two equal length pieces of wire and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the other end I'm going to expose the um, wire itself remove the insulation and this is where it's up to you on how to make this work. This is a super low-tech solution to, uh, to getting your wires, your circuit working. So we've got the two ends here. I'm going to move this back into the camera so you can see it. You can touch the one wire on the one side, the other one on the other side, and it's not going on. So obviously you wired the wrong way around. You can switch it over. So I just do the same thing. There we go. So now you can see that the wire is connected and the LED is on. And really what we need to do now is work out how we get this wire and this wire to touch securely on the ends of this uh, battery. So there's different ways we can do that. Let's have a look at some of those. Okay, so the simplest way of doing it is if you steal a peg from your laundry or your washing basket and you take your one wire, you stick it on the one side, the other wire and you stick it on the other side, Make sure that they are polarized right and you take your peg and you clamp it so your wires are connected. That's pretty cool because then you can very easily disconnect it when you don't want it on. If you leave this attached, I think that uh, some of our team were playing around with these and this battery will keep this LED going for about a week with, you know, continuously, which is pretty cool. But uh, there you go. There you've got a wired solution. If you can't find a peg, there's another simple solution that you can do. You can take some of your cardboard, just gonna cut a little strip like this. You can take a section off there, another section off there. Disconnect it over here. We can take a wire and thread it through the holes down the middle and then bend it back so that it comes sitting like that. Do the same thing on the other side, or on the other piece. Okay, then take your battery, stick it together. That's apparently the wrong way around. Okay, so you can see now my light is on. And you take a small elastic band and you just connect it up and you've got exactly the same result and you don't even need a peg. You just need a little elastic band. You can use sticky tape to hold it together, um, but there you've got everything that you need to be able to create a working circuit. And yeah, I'm excited to see the cool things that you make with these circuits. Have fun.